Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalaka and I make videos on food, passion, travel and lifestyle. So if these topics interest you, please subscribe to my channel and keep on watching. Now, welcome to another vlog. This is not going to be a very long or day in my sort of vlog, but something much more shorter. So, I'll quickly give you an idea about what is this all about. So, recently, Akash has been stuck on with some work and he has a lot of deliveries and orders to give. To show my love towards him, I thought of making him lunch and going to the workshop, to the garage and having lunch with him, spending some time with him over there. And that's all that's going to happen in this vlog. So, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the video. So, I plan to make his favorite matki along with some paneer gravy and yellow dal and of course rice and chapati let's get cooking i would like to add here that um, this is not going to be a recipe video so i'm not going to concentrate more about uh, telling you guys what is going in the recipe but uh, more on the stuff that i'm doing so if in general you would like to know a recipe about something do let me know in the comments i'll be more than happy to put it out for you people so we start by putting the cooker on and I have put some dal and some rice uh, to pressure cook here. On the pan next to it, I am just going to make some matki for which I am cutting one whole onion. So we are just going to need some onions and tomatoes for this one. Let's heat up the pan now. Finally chop the onion. This is the fresh curry leaves from my garden. Add about 3 tablespoons of oil here to the pan. Six to seven curry leaves. And once the curry leaves crackle, just add one whole onion to this. Saute the onion well until it's brown. I'm adding approximately 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste here. Mix this all well. Once the onions have turned brown, add 1 whole tomato. One tablespoon of salt. Mix this well. After 2 to 3 minutes, uh, the tomatoes will start leaving the oil. That is when we are going to add in the spices. The pressure cooker is also done here. So now I am going to go in and add all the spices. Some homemade masala, some red chilli powder, coriander powder and a pinch of turmeric powder. Mix all the spices well. Cook this for another 2 minutes. And then add in your matki. Now to the matki I had soaked it overnight and then washed it clean and then I have added it here. Mix this all well. Now I am adding approximately half a cup of water to this. You can add water according to the consistency you like. And then cover and cook this for 7 minutes. Your sabzi will be done. Now uh, I am chopping the onion again for some dal here. So I have taken approximately half of the onion now. So once the onion is done. I am going to chop some tomatoes and here I am crushing some garlic cloves for the dal. We have pressure cooked the dal and the rice here. Now I have placed this kadai to heat up and I have added about 4 tablespoons of oil here. This is just for the tempering of the dal. All basics go in. Now 
some cumin seeds as a fadida and our matki is done here i'm so sorry i could not show you the whole dal recipe but this is just a basic one if you would like to know the recipe do comment down okay so let's get cooking with the paneer so i placed this pan to which i'm going to add about 2 big tablespoons of butter once the once the butter has melted i'm going to add three tomato puree i've already blended the tomatoes so i'm going to add the puree to the pan and let this cook till the oil separates as you can see the oil has started to separate this is when i'm just going to go in and add all the spices now i'm making paneer butter masala here that's the reason a lot of cream and butter will go into this uh, on the other stove i have just heated up some oil and i'm frying some pakoras these are aloo pakoras and our paneer gravy has also come to a very nice good boil we are done with the pakoras now i'm just going to strain them I'm adding in the paneer pieces now. Now mix this up with very light hands as you do not want the paneer to break. This should be done in about 5 to 7 more minutes. I'm going to add 1 and a half tablespoon of salt here. and i have already placed on tawa to heat up so i'm going to go and add in my first roti now i'm no expert at making chapati or rotis i know but this is how i usually make them i had kneaded the dough before only so here i'm just going to make about 4 to 5 rotis and then we are done okay guys so i'm done for the day I have cooked a lot today, so I'll just quickly show you uh, what all I've made, and then we pack the tiffin and we should leave because it's already very late. It's three o'clock, so that's too late for lunch. So we should just rush. These are some aloo pakoras. Then this is paneer butter masala. This is the yellow dal. This is matki. Some chapatis. and uh, we have rice okay guys so we are all set and now we are going to the garage uh, let's drive there uh, that is our bag that is our lunch and we'll see what is akash's reaction hey guys so we just reached the garage we are outside the workshop and now let's just go in and surprise him Hi. Home. I got lunch for you. Seriously? Yeah. Thank you. How come? Why today? Just. Now I'm going to pause this. Okay.